M0 FXB, welcome back to my videos learning the new Yesu FTX1. Today we're talking GPS, or in Yesu's case with this radio, they're calling it the F GPS. My guess is <coughs> they're calling it the field GPS because it plugs into the field head, which is the unit that you can just see behind my GPS unit. Just here, and we've seen it so many times. Beautiful. So it plugs into the side. So if you look on, on the right hand side, bring that back here. And it's a it looks like a 3.5, could be 2.5. Looks 3.5 sort of TRS connector, and it goes in there. You lift that little rubber grommet, and it's gonna it's gonna go in, in there, isn't it? So um what does the manual show for GPS and APRS? Oh yeah, they cost about this GPS unit. Is around 40 pounds so is the bluetooth unit that actually clips in on the other side looks like this there's a little plate on the other side and it it's actually the bu5 they call it the bu6 because it, it comes with a cover that protrudes outwards so you will know you've got it connected so you've got it's like ears on one side you've got the gps sticking out like a small ear and on the other side you've got a flat <laughs> Um, a flat protruding square that is the Bluetooth and they're both around £40. So if we look at the manual, I'm just sort of looking at what they're showing for APRS and just showing here. Uh, what page is this? Let's have a go. 23. It is showing APRS list, APRS memory list, station list, beacon, beacon TX. So Everything you'd expect from APRS, APRS settings. GPS here, I'm just looking at where you can set the board rate on page 72. Uh, and also you've got Bluetooth settings there. I'm not seeing data Bluetooth. Uh, as if, I, I also, I, I'm definitely not seeing. And I think it's quite a big deal, really, at the moment. I think they should look at this. A way of remote controlling this device. Because there's no SCU LAN talked about. I don't really know how they're going to connect that. Um, you know, maybe they can do it via the USB-C. Maybe they can. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, mm, it's a bit of a funny one. because, uh, And there's definitely no Wi-Fi. I think they should have chucked Wi-Fi. Now, what they might end up doing is maybe making a unit that plugs in, just like the GPS does, that then adds Wi-Fi. Maybe they're looking at that because you... I'm sure they're going to be thinking people want to remote control this device. But anyway, I thought I'd show you the GPS module and the Bluetooth module. Let's just show you the other side so you can see where the Bluetooth module clips in. So there you are. Can you see it there? It's hard to say if you can see it there. I don't know if you can. And this, this makes me wonder because this is an older pick. But basically, on one side, the panel removes. Is it that? I suppose it must be. Clips off. Unless they've changed it slightly. And the Bluetooth clips in. Um, so I, don't, I just feel like they've um, made lots of decisions after the initial announcement. This is a very early picture. And they're trying to do their best to tick all the boxes. But I do feel that the LAN issue needs to be addressed because people want to remote control their sets um, of course you can use something like ham radio deluxe usb connect there and then you can use ham radio deluxe to remote i suppose uh, thanks for watching i know it's a lot of videos and a lot of learning but there's a lot that this set does and it i have spent you know hours and hours studying the manual because i know how people love to message me when i get things wrong and of course i still do um but hey i don't get you know this is not my job yeah i don't work for yesu this is my hobby and i'm just having fun thanks for watching if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel you're welcome let's help each other and enjoy the hobby stay healthy eat try to eat well so we can live longer give up smoking and keep playing radio 7 